determine the twelfth term of a GP whose eighth term is 192 and common ratio is 2. Okay, so the A8 is equal to 192 that is 8 term is given over there and the common ratio R is equal to 2. So first we will use the formula AN that is the in a geometric progression how to find out a particular term. The term formula is AN is equal to AR to the power N minus 1. So, first I will write 192 that is A8 is equal to A into 2 to the power 8 <coughs> minus 1. So, we will use this equation to find out the value of A. So, A is coming 3 by 2. Right now put that A12 is equal to. So, 3 by 2 that is AR2 to the power 12 minus 1 you will get. 3072. So the 8th term will be the 3072. Come to the next problem. In a GP, the third term, uh, the third is 24, that is the, that is the third term is 24. Sixth term 192, find the 10th term. So A3 24, A6 192. Right now we will use the formula a n is equal to a r to the power n minus 1. So I will write in place of a 6 a r n minus 1 that, that, that is 6 minus 1. So a r to the power 5 is equal to 192 put it equation number 1 and a 3 is equal to a r n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 that is the 2 and 24 is equal to a r square put equation number 2. Now by dividing equation 1 by equation 2, a r to the power 5 divided by a r square is equal to 192 by 24. After that a little bit simplification you will get the value of r that is r is equal to 2. Now substitute the value of r in equation 1. So 192 is equal to a r to the power 5. So put the value of R here, you will get A is equal to 6. So A 10 that is the 10th term A R 10 minus 1 put the value of A and R and after that the two step simplification you will get 3072. Find the next problem. Find the number of terms of his GP whose first term is 3 by 4, common ratio is 2 and the last term is 384. So we can write the GP A is equal to 3 by 4, R is equal to 2, last term 384. So we will use the term formula that is A n is equal to A R n minus 1, 384 is equal to 3 by 4 into 2 to the power n minus 1. Use this equation to uh, you will get 2 to the power 9 is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. So by comparing, so when 2 to the power something is equal to 2 to the power something, so we can write n minus 1 is equal to 9 and take out the values of the n that will be 10. So the number of terms of his GP is 10. Okay. <coughs> Come to the next problem. Find the value of x such that minus 2 by 7 x and 7 by 2 are three consecutive terms of a GP. So we can write x square is equal to this one into this one. After that one step simplification x square is equal to 1. So x will be plus minus 1. So either 1 or minus 1. Come to the next problem x plus 9 x minus 6 and 4 are three consecutive terms of a GP. So we can write x minus 6 and whole square that is the mid term is equal to x plus 9 into 4. After that two, so two or three step simplification you will get x into x minus 16 is equal to 0. So if x minus 16 is equal to 0 so x will be is equal to 16 or x will be is equal to 0. 
come to the next problem x x plus 3 x plus 9 are first three terms of a gp find the value of x so similarly we will use x plus 3 whole square is equal to x into x plus 9 as per the conditions of gp after that few step simplification you will get the value of x that is the value of x will be is equal to 3 okay 